good morning. It's 7 a.m. It's Monday. It's the beginning of a new week. And I wanted to start off this week uh, talking about our inner child. And I want to share, I want to share a story with you about inner child work. Um, so I'm just going to be honest. This is a little embarrassing, but I'm just, I'm just going to share this with you. Um, I have resisted inner child work most of my life. And the reason that I have resisted it is because I thought it was dumb. I didn't, and I didn't like children and I didn't like to think of myself as a child. In fact, when people would talk to me about being a child, I would say I was never a child. I was never a child and I don't like children and I don't want anything to do with children. And I don't have children. I'm, I'm almost 50. I've never had children. I never wanted to have children. And, um, so I didn't make the connection between the inner child work and that about myself until I really started diving into this work. And I just kept hearing like this inner child work was so important and I could not connect to my inner child. I could not. I just like, I'm like, she's just, she's not there. Like there's nothing like I, this is dumb and I hate it. Right. And, and then I'm judging myself because I can't make the connection. And so finally somebody said to me, well, you know, Pi, if you never were a child or you never got to be a child, then maybe that's why you're having trouble connecting to your inner child. And that was when I, I like the light went off for me in my head. I was like, Oh, okay. That makes sense. And so if you're having trouble connecting with your inner child or doing inner child work or resistance to inner child work, this is what I wanted to talk about this morning because I experienced the same thing. And so what I realized was, is that because of my narcissistic upbringing, because my parents did not like me as a child, they did not like the inconvenience. They did not like the mess. They did not like the noise. They did not like the fact that I didn't know how to do things as an adult. I couldn't be a little adult, a little slave for them and know what to do and, and do it right and, um, do it consistently. And you know, just all of the things they used, they would, they would hide and destroy my toys because they made too much noise or I, you know, I left them laying around. It was inconvenient. Um, I was told all the time to be quiet. If I was too happy, I needed to be quiet. Um, you know, like they, you know, they would give me chores to do and they wanted me to do things and be quiet and stay out of their way, you know, so my father could drink, so my mother could do whatever she was doing. Um, and so now I realize I like, I wasn't allowed to be a child. So I didn't know how to connect with my inner child. Cause I didn't like, I had lost that inability to play that inability to be curious, that, that joy, that innocence. I lost that at a very young age. I remember hating myself at the age of age seven, seven years old, seven. And I'm saying to myself, I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate myself. I wanted to grow up so fast because I knew they hated me being a child because I was such a burden, so unlovable, right? So that's why I couldn't connect to that inner child. And I learned to hate children. I hated myself because I was a child. I learned to hate children. And so I, that's why I've never had children. And that's why all, you know, most of my life I've, you know, I have had a disdain for children, but I didn't know why. Right. And once I made the connection and I figured that out, my heart could soften a little bit and I could just like, like, oh my gosh, like that poor little girl. Right. And like me not liking children is not because I don't like them. It's just this unconscious conditioning from my past, my own self judgment that created 
that belief system. So my point is, the reason I'm telling you this story is because if you are resistant to doing inner child work or you're having trouble connecting to your inner child, maybe, maybe there's something in your past that is keeping you from wanting to make that connection. And so I just want to, I just want to share that with you. And I want, I want you to know, I want you to like, think about giving yourself permission to, to look under the layers and recall how you felt as a child and try to try to cultivate some compassion for yourself for yourself as a child because when we're children and we're being raised in an abusive environment we don't have a choice and we don't know any better and we always blame ourselves we always blame ourselves and it isn't our fault and so and now the good news is now we can be that loving inner parent to ourselves and we can give her what it is that she needs, whether it's just an opportunity to cry or play or be silly or to laugh or to scream, um, to be validated, to be acknowledged, to be held, to be loved, um, all of the things that we didn't get 